18 ways for actors, 20 ways actually, for actors to get auditions. All of these apply to New York and most of them apply to the rest of the USA as well. My work as acting coach is of course to help actors get better but really if you're not going to actually get jobs then well I'm going to feel terrible. So you need to know lots and lots of ways that you like to find who is casting what and when. Publications. This publication, the Regional and Off-Broadway Theatre Guide, it comes out twice a year and they do a summer's theatre guide and it has literally hundreds, no thousands, thousands, yes, uh, shows that are being put on in different theatres all over America, uh, when, who's directing them, who's casting them, what addresses to write to, what emails to write to in some cases, and they are at aclbooks.net and the publications can also be bought at places like the Drama Bookshop on West 40th Street. Then there's the Seasons Overview. The Seasons Overview, which is very similar, I think, very similar, and comes out every month or so. But you really need to look at these three ex examples of publications and decide for yourself which suits you, which has the sort of shows you want to do and the information you need to use so that you get into a habit of using that publication and maybe subscribe to it regularly. The third one would be theatricalindex.com. And I think if you go online, there's a two week trial period for free. So that's three publications. Let's look at websites. Now, obviously, there's the equity website, which you can go online and see all the companies that are going to be doing open auditions almost every day of the year at uh, the equity offices in New York, which are open to non-union people as well. But you have to wait and you won't at all be sure of being seen. But it's also a way of meeting fellow actors and finding out what casting is going on, maybe. so. There's the equity website. Uh, here's another website, imdbpro.com. It's mainly film and television. I think they have a... Do they have a, a free trial period? I don't know. It's, it's about $15 a month. And they have lots of information. Then there's actorsaccess.com, which also does. And it's not going to take you six years to just look up these sites and see which you find attractive and start looking into that one. Casting Networks. Dot com similarly has information and I think you'll find that all these places will list your details as an actor your height your experience and if you've got any clips of film that you've done and certainly photographs they'll include those in their collections so that any casting directors who go to their offices can view those and uh, another website which does similar work nycastings.com so that's for websites And then there's Backstage.com, of course, uh, which is also the magazine Backstage, which comes out weekly. And so you can just get one copy of it or subscribe. And I think it costs $99 for the whole year. And it's cheaper than that if you're a member of the union. Anyway, it has lots of information of castings all over America, both union and non-union. Now, voiceovers, voiceover work. There's a lot of information for you to apply for auditions at voices.com and voice123.com and I think both of them deal with both union and non-union work. And the SAG-AFTRA hotline, if you're a member of SAG-AFTRA, also has information so you may find yourself wanting to become an expert on that particular approach. Then there's another way of getting seen by casters and that's by paying at various organisations to meet them. You pay $30, you turn up, and over a course of an hour, they see a dozen people for five minutes each, and you do a short audition for them, and you've met them, and if it goes well, and we'll come to that, then, well, you've met the casting director. And here are four organisations that do that. One is thenetworknyc.com, 
Another is oneononenyc.com. Then there's actorsconnection.com. The fourth I've got here is actorsgreenroom.com. Go along to meet the people at these places rather than join online and see how you feel about the environment. If they talk to you as though they want your money, as though you're just some student, if they don't treat actors with respect, if they're not clear about their information and helpful, then when you eventually go there to meet some casting director and do an audition, you're not going to be in the best frame of mind, possibly. You want to be in a happy frame of mind when you're going for an audition. So go along, meet them, see which one you like best, and maybe join one of them. So that's websites, organisations and publications. There's the business of how you apply for the auditions, because that's one of the things that will get you the audition or not. Making sure your application is well presented. Your photograph. Well, you want it to be good. You don't want it to be taken by your mother. You want someone who knows what backgrounds suit you. Not that all photographers know that, but look into it carefully. Make sure that they, that they look after you. There's a lot of places for you to get in touch with, and if you try and do all of them, you'll go mad. And there's, a, there's an alibi job what I call alibi work. Alibi work, what I mean by that is it's very easy to say that you've been fishing and you couldn't possibly be guilty of some crime. It's very easy for actors to say, well, I've got all the envelopes and I've cleared my desk and I've found out about these organisations that I should write to and I'm very tired now but I've collected my photographs and I'm going to work on an audition piece now. And the point is, it's an alibi to yourself. What you're not doing is applying for a job. Yes, if you've got an audition, then don't bloody spend any time at all applying for jobs. Concentrate on the audition. But if you've got nothing else really important going on, ditch everything else and concentrate on one or two of these things and find out about it. And if you don't like it, move on to another one. But there is one thing that I think you, <laughs> you might all try. And it's, it's funny because it, it actually works. And I don't know anyone else in the world who's thought of this. Anyway, it's that you, 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 you look back on, on the school that you went to as a teenager, and you'll find, maybe, maybe at college as well, but anyway, you'll find that someone or other, somewhere, maybe 20 years ago at your school, eventually became a film director. Someone, in some way, or a producer or an actor or something. And you should write to them and say, look, I went to St John's College too, and I just wondered if, you know, you had any ideas about any small part that I might be right for. And when you get a letter like that, you sort of feel a bit embarrassed and obliged to help them out. I mean, who wouldn't? Unless there's nothing you can do to help them. So it's a way in. So there you are. 20 ways to get auditions.